Right. All right, taking a full look at weather now, Weather Authority Chief Meteorologist Dan Sianka. I feel like it's summer around here. I mean, we are in the heart of summer right now, Veronica. Let's see what's going on out there. Live look from Domenico's. If you look close, you might see some marine wildlife popping through here. There was a guy on a banana slug colored kayak a little while ago. I saw him just going by like this, and then behind it, there was something bobbing in the water, and I'm like, you're in danger, guy. You're in danger. What are you doing? Look behind you. But I think everything turned out okay as you take a live look. I don't know what it was. No. It, it could have been anything, Veronica. <laughs> you know, there's, there's all sorts of things in the bay there. You got your you got your sea otters. You got your sea lions. You got your harbor seals. You got those small little plastic cups that have the, uh, the clam chowder in them that people throw. You know, don't do that. Don't t Come on, tourists. Don't throw that. Okay, here's a, it's looking beautiful out there today. We've got the sun shining in Monterey. It's been a very nice day a bit on the muggy side though. So if you find yourself sweating a little more often than normal, the air is just more moist. So it's hard to evaporate more of your sweat into the air when there's more moisture in there. There's only so much moisture the air can handle. So you might feel a little sweatier than normal today. Let's stop talking about sweat, shall we? I even said moist a little while ago. I know that makes people cringe sometimes. Temperatures right now around the bay, 60s to upper 70s. It is nice and muggy out there. Inland areas, 80s, some cases 90s, it's 98 in Bradley. Our dew points are pretty high today. I'm not going to show you them because they probably don't make much sense to you, but let me just tell you from a weather perspective, our dew points are high. That means it's kind of muggy today. Right now, temperature is expected to stay pretty mild overnight, almost on the warm side as we see lows in many locations only dipping into the 60s. There's a lot of moisture in the air. Some of it is monsoon moisture. Some of it is just run-of-the-mill marine layer moisture. And we also have some not so much monsoon, but tropical moisture on the way. Here it is, it's to the south, this group of clouds right here. We've been showing you this map and all the monsoon moisture for days, but this is a little new feature and it is involved in a tropical cyclone. This is Tropical Storm Frank. Introduce yourself, Frank. Hi, I'm 50 miles per hour sustained winds moving off to the northwest at a short clip. I also don't like cold water and that's where I'm headed. So I will probably stop being Frank the tropical cyclone and just end up being some high level moisture. So if you've heard anywhere on social media that a hurricane is headed toward California, that is not true. This is a tropical storm and it is going to die off over the next day or so. Some of its moisture may make it here. So if you see the clouds coming through tomorrow, say, hey, Frank, thanks for the clouds. You know, if you get sunburned easily, sometimes you're happy when it's cloudy. Futurecast is showing an increase in high clouds as we head to the overnight tonight. That's Frank on its way through. Hi, Frank. Uh, we may see a few low clouds, a little bit of fog swirling around the bay. There is a lot of moisture in the air, so watch out for areas of reduced visibility. These clouds will thicken and push northward through the overnight hours into tomorrow. If you're looking at your radar app and it shows some radar echoes tomorrow, the radar is likely to pick up some high level moisture, but I don't think we're going to see any precipitation reaching the ground. Even the computer future radar is showing a couple blips and blops here. Not expecting any rain tomorrow, but we will have quite a bit of high cloud cover coming through the region. It will also stay muggy. So as we look at 8 p.m. tomorrow night, it's going to be another warm evening tomorrow night with that moisture in the air and a relatively warm air mass in place. Let's take a look at your forecast. High temperatures tomorrow will start in Santa Cruz County. Highs in the 90s in the Santa Cruz Mountain Valleys, 80s in the higher elevations, lows again in the 60s down to the water. We're going to be in the 70s in Santa Cruz and Capitola, lows close to 60 as well. On the east shore of the Bay, Warmest in the north, mid 70s in Aptos, Watsonville, staying in the upper 60s. A little bit cooler than today in Marina and Castroville, but still mild for this time of year. 77 in Salinas, much warmer in our northern valleys. And again, lows only in the 60s. It's going to be a pretty warm one out there. And it's normally hot and dry in the Santa Clara Valley in the summer, but it's a little muggier, so that may be uncomfortable for you. 71 in Monterey, 70 in Seaside and Carmel tomorrow, upper 60s out to the points. And then farther south, we'll be in the 80s, closer to the coast. 90s and triple digits as we get farther away. So again, pretty toasty day tomorrow. And again, you may not be comfortable with that humidity in the air. Now, as we look at that seven day forecast on the coast, temperatures will cool off a little bit by Thursday by a few degrees, and we may be more likely to see some low clouds hang around throughout the day. We'll still be on the edge of the monsoon plume, though, so I expect some high clouds in the forecast really throughout the next seven days. However, at this time, I'm not anticipating any rain in our area. Inland areas will have some ups and downs and temperatures will clear out a bit on Wednesday and I expect temperatures to head upward, so we may actually still be a little on the humid side, so I think Wednesday is going to be very uncomfortable inland. Beyond that, seasonable to slightly warm. We'll have winds in the valleys every afternoon, and the mornings may see a few low clouds in the valleys.